All right, if you're looking for more official Power Ranger news, you don't have to wait long. It's only going to be a couple more weeks until we get more news about Cosmic Fury and beyond. Hey, welcome back to the Ping Pong Flicks. My name is Chris Wong. I know we had that San Diego Comic Con. Nothing really happened there. Then we got Power Morphicon. Something really big happened there. The official Cosmic Fury news dropped from Simon Bennett himself and from Hasbro. Officially, Cosmic Fury is going to be our next season for Power Rangers coming straight to Netflix, which is coming right after the second half of season two of Dino Fury, which is also coming to Netflix. Though, there are some other countries where it's going to pop up on TV or it has already popped up on TV so you know be very careful about Dino Fury spoilers but I want to talk about the next thing without spoiling anything from Dino Fury the next series of course is Cosmic Fury and Simon Bennett is all the way over in New Zealand to start production on that show posted on Instagram just moved into a new office at Auckland Film Studios for Power Rangers Cosmic Fury need some pictures pictures on the walls, but it's quiet, and I have brilliant colleagues, friends all around me looking forward to filming starting. And for people with magnifying glasses, there's not much you can see on his screen, obviously. But you can't see that he's a fan of rangerboard.com. That's kind of cool. In fact, he posts there. So maybe if you want to keep a lookout for Simon's post on either Twitter, you can also look on that rangerboard.com. And he even had a jacket of the Beast Morphers because, you know, he worked on Beast Morphers as well. Beast Morphers, by the way, is like one of my favorite seasons of Power Rangers. From the theme song to the idea of going to this virtual reality because, you know, Honestly, I was a big fan of VR Troopers, so that really took me back to that time. And for those of you who kind of know what's going to happen in the second half of Dino Fury, there is a little cameo in there, and yeah, it's Beast Morphers. So I'm like, you know would be cool if Simon brought back Beast Morphers and maybe both teams could work together somehow? I don't know. But Simon also posted this nice spot could almost be another planet. Of course, teasing that Cosmic Fury is going to be taking place in outer space, in the cosmos. It's going to be cosmic, which is a welcome change for the modern Power Ranger seasons. I love the Power Ranger seasons from before. We're took it to other worlds, other time periods, and it kind of really branched out the story. So it seems like Simon is exploring a little bit more with this series now, expanding it more, and going into space. Space? I could really get behind the creative juices that was probably going to come out of this series. And because it's coming straight to Netflix, there was a question on whether it's going to come out all the episodes at once, like the previous Dino Fury episodes, or is it going to have like a weekly release? Well, according to Screen Rant, which took it from Puck News, Netflix is reportedly considering moving away from its binge release model for a weekly release format. And I get why people love the binge format because you watch one episode, then you want to watch the next episode and then the next episode all the way into 3 or 4 a.m. in the morning and you just can't stop. And I get it. It worked for Stranger Things. It's working for Cobra Kai. It worked for The Witcher as you've seen in that screenshot there. But I gotta say, it was really cool back then watching a Power Rangers episode every week or Super Sentai or Kamen Rider, you know, whatever tokusatsu show you like. But it's like that conversation every week. You're talking about what happened in that episode, what's going to come next episode. I just love that weekly discussion. And so I'm like all for this weekly format. So if all the new shows that are coming out from Netflix is going to be a weekly format and Cosmic Fury is going to have that weekly format, I think it's going to be great discussions for the fandom 20 plus weeks in a row of Power Rangers. I know we're all wondering, well, what is this Cosmic Fury? Is this just going to be more Dino Fury with the Dino Fury suits and they're just going out into space. And the Dino Fury suit aspect could be true because if you look at the Cosmic Fury title, it does have a dinosaur emblem there just like the Dino Fury. Unless that's a placeholder and the actual logo is going to be looking different. Or is it the Dino Fury costumes but updated into a different type of costume, making it an original suit for Cosmic Fury. And obviously this doesn't take away all the theories that this is possible 
possibly Q Ranger, as Q Ranger is the most likely type of Super Sentai that could translate into a Cosmic Fury Power Ranger season. And I wouldn't mind that at all. Come on, Q Ranger? That's great. And I know Simon Bennett's team can absolutely do stunts now. They make great action sequences without barring the action scenes for the Super Sentai shows. And it looks seamless, the camera angles are very dynamic, it looks absolutely awesome, and I have no doubts they can make in great Power Ranger shows without any borrowed Toei scenes. But I'm not quite sure, I'm wondering, have they ever done original Zord scenes, or have all the Zord scenes been borrowed from Toei? And if that's the case, then they're going to a new direction if they are going to make their own Zords, their own Zord battles, and all that stuff. That would be kind of amazing if they actually do that. So if they're not going to do that, it does make me believe that they're still going to borrow something from Toei. And maybe Q-Ranger is the idea. But I don't think we have to wait too long to figure out what's going on for Cosmic Fury. I feel that we're going to find out really soon. Like, like really soon. Hasbro Pulse put out an announcement. It's morphin time, Rangers. The Hasbro PulseCon Power Rangers panels is packed full of exclusive content, news, reveals, and some more phenomenal guests. Stay up to date on Hasbro PulseCon news at that website. And so this is all going to happen on September 30th, the day after official US Netflix release of Dino Fury Season 2. Now RangerBoard.com retweeted that and put a little thing in their tweet that, you know, I honestly couldn't find in the actual HasbroPulse.com website, probably because I didn't know where to look, but they knew where to look, and this is what it said. Power Rangers panel will drop on Friday, September 30th, by the way. Quote, unquote, the latest news from the second half of Dino Fury Season 2 and beyond. Cosmic Fury? So obviously we know that Season 2 Part 2 is coming out. They've already had a trailer for that and a teaser for that. They've also teased Cosmic Fury. So me wondering, well... They tease that there's a Cosmic Fury coming out. They're about ready to shoot. That means September 30 must have, and I and I, I really hope it does, the costume reveals for the Cosmic Fury team. And the fact that they said beyond, I'm wondering if it's going to go beyond Cosmic Fury as well into the Jonathan and Twistle reboot universe. Although I feel like that's highly unlikely. If they're trying to promote the next season, it'd be kind of weird to promote the season after that, which they are saying it's a reboot. So for the most part, if they really want to make this panel a huge bang, and it is coming from Hasbro themselves, they're going to have to show a bit more of Cosmic Fury. So I think maybe by then, maybe to the very least, by September 30th, we're finally going to find out what Cosmic Fury actually looks like. And then, you know, all these theories and speculation and all these discussions will go into a new and different direction. All right, well, I'm going to ask you, what do you think we're going to learn about Cosmic Fury and beyond on September 30th at the Hasbro PulseCon? Share your thoughts in the comments down below.